Welcome to the Land of House channel. I'm Seth. Today I have got a solar panel from Kelfa. This is the 200 watt mono crystalline solar panel. They have sent five of these so we can do an unboxing and overview and then install these on a rack mount behind my workshop and see how well these produce power. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's do a quick unboxing of one of these panels so you can see what comes in the box. So as you can see here, they ship these panels individually and so they are not going to be possibly damaged like you would see panels that are shipped on a big rack because uh, this has protected corners and foam inside. So we'll go ahead and open this box up and pull this panel out of here. So as you can see there is a protective foam across the front and that covers the panel fully so shouldn't be getting damaged there and all sides and corners have a corrugated cardboard all right and you'll also note that each corner has a protective plastic piece on here and that can be removed it uh, is actually a little bit difficult to pop that off of there so I'll show you that here in just a moment besides all of that there is also a uh, layer of what I call saran wrap but uh, a protective coating that you'll have to peel off as well and I have found that to be on there pretty tight and hard to get off the protective corners are snapped into place so you can take a knife or a screwdriver and push into one side here and that will free that up so you can pop those off of there. And here is the plastic protective coating that's put on there. And it is really stuck on tight. So you'll have to sit and work that off or uh, let it get weathered in the sun for a while and then just peel it off that way. Inside the box, you get the solar panel and a user manual. It has a table with some good information and then some things to do and not do over here. So noteworthy things on the chart. This is the model SPR200. It's a 200 watt rigid solar panel, monocrystalline, greater than 23% efficient. That's pretty cool. 17.1 volts is the operating voltage, operating current 11.7 amps, open circuit voltage 20.1 amps, short circuit current 12.3 amps, and the DC connectors are MC4, and it has an IP68. 26.2 pounds is the weight. Here on the front of the panel, you can see the Calfa logo right there. Now these are monocrystalline panels, so it is a nice uniform black, and they have painted the top of the panel as well, so everything matches up nice and smooth. The corners seem to have survived shipping quite well. I've removed those plastic protectors, but I have not yet removed this other plastic that is quite well adhered on there. As far as the welds go, it seems to be a quality build and I'm liking that it is so uniform and straight. Let's flip this over to the back real quick. Taking a quick look at the frame construction, they have placed holes in here to easily allow for water drainage, which is a nice feature to see. There are also mounting holes on the side. There are two different sets of holes that you can use for mounting. And there is also a place down here for the ground screw to go into. And that is found on both sides, as you can see right here. Now something that's unique to this panel that I've not seen before, it also has mounting holes up here on the top. I like that because you can mount this in multiple different directions and be safe there. The MC4 connectors are pre-attached, which is nice to have. The cable length is a bit short. I'll open those up here in just a moment. And then you can also find the data on this panel right down here on the sticker. As cable length goes, we're working with about three feet, which is a little bit short. I typically like to see the cable go down to the end of the panel, but I think this is plenty long enough to work with. The dimensions of this solar panel are 57.5 by 30.3 and 1.4 inches wide. I have built a rack mount behind my workshop for us to install this panel. Let's go ahead and get this installed over there and then we will do our tests to see how well this performs with the voltage and then overall wattage once I hook it up to a power station inside of my workshop. 
I'm on the hill behind the workshop where I have a solar panel mount installed. This is four four by four posts sunk in the ground, a couple of two by fours going crossways, and then unistrut, which is a metal channel with holes in it, going in this direction. Now my first panel, I went ahead and tested out and it has installed quite nicely over here. The other four are gonna go in the horizontal direction in order to save money on buying this Unistripe. So what I'm gonna to use to get these panels mounted are some inch and a half uh, bolts here. They are quarter inch thread, some washers and nuts, and that will be plenty to get these panels installed. I'm gonna simply set this panel up here on the Unistrut, just like this. And then I'm gonna step up underneath here and get this mounted. Now it's gonna be hard to show you this on camera, so I will uh, get the panel up here first and we'll go around the back and I'll show you uh, how this mounts on here. I'm gonna drop these bolts into the open hole up under here, get my wires through. And now I can set this down and line up that unistrut with those bolts. In order to mount this, I take one of these bolts and I find the hole up under here, place that into the unistrut, and then I take a large washer on top of that, and then lastly take a nut and get that attached here. And I make sure that all four mounting holes are in this style here. Now the holes on the Unistrut are big enough that the panel can shift a little bit. And so this is where I like to take the time to make sure the alignment is good. So let me go ahead and tighten this down some. A drill with an attachment to go to this socket can save a lot of time not having to spin this in, especially if you're doing a lot of these. At this point, right before it's tightened down, I want to make sure the panel is aligned where I want it. And I can hold this and then get it tightened into position. I typically enjoy putting the second panel up instead of the first because the first panel will hold the second one in place and it makes it easier to get this installed. So just going to slide this across here. I've waited for a nice sunny day as you can see and the sun is almost directly over the panels which means it's time to use the multimeter and get a voltage on a single panel and then do a voltage across all of the panels at the same time. Each of these panels has an open circuit voltage of 20 volts, which means if I were to test this with a multimeter, I should see pretty close to 20 volts. So let me go ahead and take my probes here and put it into the positive and negative of a single panel, and we will see what this comes out to be. I stuck the probes into the MC4 connectors, and we have 19.97 for the voltage. That is about as close to 20 volts as you can get. I just finished getting all of my panels linked together. This array is 1000 watts. To do that, I have them all in series, which means the positive of one panel goes into the negative of the next, positive, negative, positive, negative, all the way to the end until I have two wires, one overall positive, one overall negative. Currently I'm seeing 98.8 volts across the entirety of this array. Very good. That is pretty close to the 100 we were expecting to see. Let's go ahead and plug these up to my MC4 cables going into my workshop, and we will see what the overall wattage is of these panels. The power is coming into this power station, and I've seen up to 960 watts, which means those panels are operating very nicely in order to get that much power out of 1,000 watts of solar. I've had these solar panels installed for a little over a week now, and they have been producing a lot of power. I am impressed that they are doing 960 watts on a full clear day. Now these have gotten wet from rain, and they've also had some snow on them, and uh, plenty of sunshine doing quite well. I really like how these panels are so clean and uniform with their monocrystalline panels. And uh, man, it's just been doing really good. So. Very happy to have these installed. The Kalfa 200 watt solar panel is well built and easy to install. Out of the 1000 watts of solar I have here, I'm getting 960 watts inside of my workshop on a power station, which means these things are performing very well. Now, like I said, they're easy to install. They have eight different mounting holes, which is four more than I'm used to on solar panels. It also has mounting locations for the ground on both sides of the panel, which is also good to see. 
As far as the construction goes, the frame itself seems to be quite strong and the solar panel cells are monocrystalline and they are very uniform. I don't really see any variation in color. So if you're going for aesthetics, that is also a good thing. The only downside I see to these panels is that protective plastic that's around the entire outside frame and it's just uh, really difficult to peel off of there. Other than that, the shipping material was great and the panels were safe whenever they arrived. So all five of them were shipped as individual boxes and that uh, seemed to work out well. There wasn't any issue with uh, pallets being crushed down like I've had with some other panels. If you want to check out more information on these solar panels, I will have a link in the description down below. I'm Seth with Land to House and I will see you in the next video. Bye.